Bob Schieffer is a CBS News contributor. He's our former chief Washington correspondent and moderator for Face the Nation. Bob, good morning. Good morning. So post-Wisconsin, the headlines today are, you know, trouble for the two frontrunners. But do you think it's something more than that? I think we're seeing something, we may see something more profound happen than just, just this race. I, I'm beginning to wonder, are these political parties going to survive 2016? I mean... I think the Republicans, I mean, I don't know who's going to get this nomination. I don't know if it's going to wind up in Cleveland. If it does, Donald Trump is not going quietly into the night. I think that's one thing we can say for sure. Say for sure. I don't know who's going to get the nomination, but there's going to be a huge fight out there. We may be seeing for the Republicans something like the Democrats saw in 1968 in mm -hmm. Chicago where the party simply tore itself apart in full view of the entire nation mm -hmm. on television. You know, there were riots in the streets. There was brutality by the police and all of that. And they not only lost in 1968, they come back in 1972 and they try to institute reforms to correct that. They throw out all the party leaders that year, the big city bosses, and all of that, they wind up nominating George McGovern, a good man, but someone far outside the mainstream of the Democratic Party. And he lost in a historic landslide, carried only the state of Massachusetts. Is this what's shaping up here for the Republicans? I don't know. But I think it's something uh, that we're going to be talking well, about. Well, Donald Trump is certainly sending out signals that he thinks are trying to take it away from him. What's more risky, do you think, for the party? Donald Trump is a nominee where people say they're afraid or alienating his supporters. Well, I don't think it's good either way. Mm. I mean, <laughs> either way you do it. I mean, let's say he runs as a third-party candidate. I don't think he could be elected, but I don't think the Republican candidate could be elected either mm. if that's the case. Let's say he is the candidate. I mean, you know, and, and with the numbers that he's running up, the negatives he has among just women voters, I think it's going to be very, very difficult for Republicans. But then you go to the other side here, and let's talk about the Democrats. I, I don't think this is their finest hour either as a party. I mean, here you have the, the party, the oldest party in America, has managed to come up with one candidate who's a Democrat, and she's having the fight of her life with someone who's never sought and office as a Democrat, who's an avowed socialist. I, I, I think, I, I don't know. And, I don't and know what's going to he's likely to stay here. in because he's got plenty of money, and he'll probably wait for events that may or may not happen. Well, exactly. I mean, you're talking about how long can he stay. He's certainly not embarrassing himself because he's winning. Yeah. He has plenty of money, and it would be, I would think, no one would blame him for just hanging around to see if Hillary Clinton's going to be indicted. Now, I don't have any evidence that she is or that she isn't, but I do know there's an investigation going on. And I think he'd be wise to just hang around and see what happens on that. And if that happens, let's say she is indicted, what happens then? I mean, well, we're at a strange turning point for both in American parties, politics. What, what, happened, both is, what role right does Don now. Kasich play in all of this? Because he also says he's staying until the very end. Well, I don't know. I mean, he, he didn't run a very good race in Wisconsin, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's part of the uh, anybody but Trump yeah. movement. He, he and there one. is such a thing as anybody but Trump right now. And there's such a thing in the Republican Party as anybody but Cruz. In the exit polls last night, they asked people, you know, if Trump is the nominee, what will you do? Well, 60 percent of the people said they'd vote for Trump. But you had, I think, 10 percent said they'd vote for Hillary Clinton. You had 15 percent, I think it was, that said they'd be interested in a third party. And about 8 percent that said they, they wouldn't vote. So that's 35 percent who said they wouldn't vote Republican. That, that would be a danger sign to me if I were a Republican leader. Great to see you. Well, yeah. it's great to be here. Great to have you here. I'm glad I brought all this happy news. <laughs> yeah. parties. We'll see you again, well, Bob. We Schiffer. call it wisdom around here. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant analysis. Brilliant That's analysis. We call it wisdom. Proud to be here. Thank you, Bob. At my age, proud to be anywhere. Proud to get up in the morning. <laughs>